Paper John presents the cartoon guide to algebra by Larry Garnick. Let's get started. Da -da 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 -da. Today we will be doing the real world problems. The real we'll be doing the real world problems. Or should I say world problems? And eventually, we'll use more than one more unknown variable. In this case, we'll just be using x for these variables, for these world problems. We use algebra in everyday life. And here is one thing I have, I have liked. Ever this one example I have liked. So here it is. Okay, uh, here is the word problem that I will just tell you because I don't have enough time to write all of this. Momo earned $2 more per hour than Celia. After an 8-hour shift, they combined pay is $184. How much does each of them per hour? So first, we have to ask, firstly, what are the knowns and the unknowns? What do we do know and what do we not know? And how do we write an equation with it? So the total pay is $184. And the total hours worked is 8 hours. And the difference between Momo's hourly wage and Celia's hourly wage is $2. So let's call W as Celia's hourly wage and W plus 2 as Momo's. So So then this one, the problem tells us what what the earnings are and how long they have worked. And HW is Celia's earnings and HW plus 2 in the parentheses is Momo's earnings. Not like the avatar Momo, but this will do. And then you add these together, you get 184. So let's simplify this. HW plus HW this 16 is equal to 184. Combine these two together, 16 to, is equal to 184 minus 16, 16, and that is equal to 168. Divided on both sides, W is equal to, it only comes, so it only comes once, and then, Wait, and then it only goes five times in the decimal place. Ten point five dollars. Ten point five dollars. Four. Okay, so here are our answers. Celia earns ten dollars and fifty cents per hour, and Momo. And Momo earns $12.50 per hour. And if we check it all, then we will get 184 is equal to 184. This is one of our world problems and one of the ways that we can solve them. And by the way, let me draw a bit of a Celia and Momo. Okay, now let's do a word problem that has more than one unknown variable. So here, there, mo so here, let's get Celia again. Celia goes and buys a brass and iron nail each. And a brass and nail each. And then for some reason, dumps them all into the same bag. I'm symbol into the same bag for some reason. And then finally, and then finally, she, when she brings them back, when she brings them back to Kevin's workshop, Kevin starts working out how much, how many brass and iron there are. There are, the, by the way, the brass is three cents each, and the iron is two cents each. And all of the total before the tax is six dollars.
So let's see. Three B. There are three cents for every rest. And the plus the two I is equal to 600. And here we can use the substitution method. The substitution method. And also, we need one more equation. The brass, the brass uh, are three grams, and the four, and they are four grams, and the iron is four grams, and they all add up to nine hundred grams. So again, three, again three B plus four I is equal to nine hundred. Now let's replace B with X and I, and I with Y. Then 3X plus 2Y is equal to 600. 600 and 3X plus 4Y is equal to 900. Then substitute it, please. We can substitute one into it. Let's you let's substitute it. Let's take this and find out how much the x is. So the x is so the x is equal to three hundred minus four thirds y. And now and now let's just uh, substitute this into the equation. Into the equation. Uh, nine, 900, 900 plus 4y plus 2y. Oh, y plus 2y is equal to 600. Then 6y and 6y is equal to 1500 three, two, three, and 250. So the y is equal to Wait, that can't be right. Oh yeah. So and then the y is equal to the. So if I have a mistake in my problem, and now let's just do an easier way. Let's find out what y is. So let's cancel this out. And y is equal to three hundred minus three halves x. And let's put this into this. So then 3x plus 12 or 100 minus 6x is equal to 900. And then, so we minus is equal to 900. And then we turn this into 6x minus 3x is equal to 1,200 minus 900. We minus here and then we add in here minus there. So 3x is equal to 300, 100 nails. So now we know what the, how many brass there are, 100 nails. And the iron would be, and the iron, would be well, let's see. Then the iron would be. Let's put that into this equation. Y is equal to three hundred minus one hundred fifty minus one hundred and fifty, and that is equal to one hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty nails, and so, and that's all. So this is how many brass and na nails that you will have.
and it's a bit complicated than a one-step equation, one-step word problem, because of many, many different variables being in here. And all the word problems I just stated are in the Cartoon Guide to Algebra, and there's a quicker self-step way to just solve that, and a lot more guided explaining way. So just look at that for now, for, for this for a better detailed expression. And that is the end of today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Shalom out. Peace. Yeah, I know, I know When I compliment her, she won't believe